Hi all, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Nitin Kaplas. Let's talk about today's problem. A problem name is K smallest elements. Let's read the question first. Our question said we are given a sorted array of ARR of n elements, right? And a value x is given to us. We have to find the k smallest element to x in an array. Here the three conditions we are given. If x is present in the array, then it need not to be considered, right? Second, if two elements have the same difference as x, then the greater element is prioritized. Third, if sufficient elements are not present on the right side, take element from the left and vice versa. So in the first example, n value is 13 and we are given the array list. Okay, here the value of k is 4 and x is 35. Here the output is 39, 30, 42 and 45. Let's, let's do the dry run for this case and understand how we can solve this question. So this is the test case we are given. Okay. We are given the value of k is 4. It means we need the 4 elements which is closest to x. Here the value of x is 35. So it's a sorted array and we need first the index where the x is present. So if you clearly see x is present here at index 4. So how we can calculate it? Very simple using binary search we can calculate it because the array is sorted okay so my index is this where my x is present okay yeah so what's the first step find the index where x is present okay now i want the k smallest so this is smallest based upon two conditions so if this is my element so either 30 is smallest, either 39 is smallest. So what I'm doing is I'm using here after finding the first step or index, I using the two pointer approach where left is pointing to index minus one and right is pointing to index plus one. Why we are not considered this element 35? Because already in the condition we are given. If X is present in the array, then it need not to be considered, right? So that's why my pointer is lie one step back and one step ahead, right? Now, we have to compare this. Let's suppose my x1 is, which is 35 minus array of left, which is 30. What's the difference? S5, let's calculate in the right side. Our element is 39 minus 35. Its difference is 4. Which is smallest? X2 is smallest. It means that right element is closest as compared to left side. So let me print this first. 39. After printing this, we are include this into my answer. Now it's time to increment it. Let's increment the pointer which we are include into my answer that is right side. So right now my right is pointing to this. Right. Okay. Again we have to compare. Again we have to take the difference. So in this time, my 39 is replaced with 42 and my difference between these two elements is 7. Here if you see x1 is 5, it means left side is closest to x, so which is 30. Let me include 30 into my answer and decrement my left because we already include this. Now in this case, 30 is replaced with 22. Now here the difference here is 13. Again you have to compare between x1 and x2. Here x2 is smallest. It means right side is smallest. So it's time to include 42 into my answer and increment my right pointer which is now here. Okay. Now if you see 42 is replaced with 45 and the difference here is 10 which is smallest. Right is smallest because x2 is smallest. So let me add 45 into my answer. If you see here, the value of k is 4 and already I printed 4 elements, which is closest to x. So this is my output. Let's understand this question better with second example here. In this case, if you see my x is 4, it is not present. So what I'm doing here is using binary search, what I'm doing is I return just smallest element. My index is pointing to just smallest element. Let's suppose index is this, right? Here we have to check 
if array of index equal to equal to x not it means we can consider right we can consider so what i'm doing is my where the index is pointing this is my left pointer right and just after that that is right pointer okay let me write here left is now this okay now again the same step my x1 is here my x is 4 right which is 4 minus 3 which is 1 and x2 here is 6 minus 4 which is 2 which is smallest left is smallest so let me write here output is 3 and decrement my left pointer okay so in this case my it's a uh, uh, it's updated x1 is updated which is 4 minus 2 which is 2 in this case both are equal we have to give the prioritize to the greater element if you see in the point number 2 right so let me include 6 into my answer and increment the pointer which is right okay okay now if you see my this is updated which is 10 okay so this is 10 now and difference is 6 which is smallest x1 is smallest it means 2 is closest right i need k elements which is 3 already have so this is my output right so let's understand the base cases of this questions so here my first base case is if you see x is 2 x is 2 here if uh, while searching the element what i am doing is i am using low and high pointer okay so here i have to write if array of if array of low is greater than my x it's greater than my x it's greater than my first index so we have to return low in this case return low means the index is my first element what is my index right now my index is this we have to check if my array of index equal to equal to x no it's not so it means we can include this in my answer so this is my left pointer and this is my right pointer i want k equal to 3 right in this case let's do the dragon for this case also my x is my x is 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 and x2 is 4 minus 2 which is 2 which is smallest x1 is smallest let's include into my answer 3 after include this after include this what's my next step decrement that pointer and this is out of bound if you see the third step if sufficient element are not present on the right side or in the left side we have to include its adjacent elements right if you see here left side element is out of bound it means we have to take rest of the key elements in the right side of it means 4 and 5 is my answer when we are not able to compare left and right so in this case we are writing outside the while condition where we have to include k elements right so left is over so we have to include the right element one is already taken and we need two more elements so we are using this right now let's see the second base case in this case my x is 12 okay so what's the base case here this is my high if my array of high is less than or equal to x it means your x is present in the right side of it so what is my index my index is high let's see it so my index is here and it's not equal to x so we can include that into my answer okay so my left is this and right is just after it right just after it okay so in this case also my left right side is out of bound it means we are not able to compare between these two elements right so in this case what i am doing is i have to i need k elements and i am taken that k elements in the left side of it so the first element is 10 8 6 so this is my answer in this case right hope you understand the intuition right so let's code this now so my first step is let's create the vector which is v right after that i initialize the variable index and calling a helper function which help me to get the index of x or closest to x if it's not present so the first step is low is 0 
and i is n minus 1 and i am passing k sorry x so here i am initializing the helper function the first value is low and the second is high and a value x right okay my first base case is if array of high is less than equal to x we have to return high in this case okay if my array of low is greater than or equal to x we have to return low in this case so this is my base case right after that what i am doing is it's very simple binary search we have to find the mid if arr of mid is less than or equal to x and arr of mid plus 1 is greater than x it means that if mid is equal to equal to x we have to return mid or if mid is less than x and mid plus 1 is greater than x it means that your element is not present but in at the midpoint it's the just smaller element right just smaller than x so we are returning here else if array of mid is suppose x is greater and your mid is smallest it means we have to go to the right side okay so here i am writing the same condition to go to the right side i have to update my low which is mid plus one okay else we have to return helper and go to the left side for going to the left side i have to update my high mid minus one so this is my simple binary search operation where i have the index variable okay so let me create the two pointer approach here and let's name as left and right okay now we have to check if array of index equal to equal to x if it's we we are not able to consider that element in this case my left is index minus one else if it's not equal we can consider it we can consider that element so in this case my left is index right else okay so right is simple very much simple it just increment index plus one okay okay now i have my left i have my right so what i'm doing here is simply we have to uh do the while loop till k we need the k elements and left is greater than or equal to zero and right is less than n okay in this case the first is we have to write the x1 let me write x1 which is x minus array of left and x2 here which is array of right minus x okay i have the two difference now it's time to compare it if my x1 is smaller it means x2 is greater x2 is greater it means left is closest so let's push that element into it my vector array of left after adding we have to decrement my left okay else we have to add if it's equal if x1 equal equal to x2 or x1 is greater than x2 in this case we have to add right side element and increment my right okay now if it's out of bound and my k is there so we have to write again while loop if my left is greater than zero okay and k is there we have to push error of left side and decrement my left pointer same time we have to decrement my k so in this case also we have to decrement the k okay and if my k is present and right is less than n so in this case we have to add the element from the right side and increment my right and decrement my k right at the end simply we have to return my vector where we are storing all the k closest element to x let's check it's working fine or not yeah it's working fine let's check it now yeah as you see all the cases are passed okay now let's understand the time complexity of it its time complexity is if you see clearly uh, this helper function simply do the binary search right on n elements right so what's the complexity of this helper function it's big of log n right if you see after this function what i'm doing is i am writing this while condition till 
k elements k index right k elements i need the k elements till this is running up to k if k is not fulfilled again i am writing the while till k okay in this case again if k is not fulfilled again it's going till k so what's the complexity here big of k so its time complexity is big of log n plus k right i hope you understand the solution and intuition thank you so much